Tonight I want to discuss micro beer against big beer or micro brewery against big brewery. Um, a lot of people say, well, this is not as good as the craft beer. And you know what? People should drink what they want to drink. You want to drink malt liquor? You want to drink stout or um, Heffenweizen from Germany or even a light lager? You should have the right to do that. Who, who is the other people to say to you? that you are inferior because you drink uh, uh, a light beer or a light lager, you know. It's just a lot of myths and misleading the public about beer. First of all, I hear craft beer people or people, microbrew say, well, we have more taste. That's their, that's their selling point. We have more taste. But I look at, and you know what they're comparing? They're not comparing apples with apples. First of all, a lot of microbrews it brew big uh, tasting ales, big taste in their ales. That's just more taste than the light lagers so, or lighter lagers, even lagers in general. The, you know, I look at as a, as beer is a sport, a sport. So beer, there's a lot of types of beers, so many types of beers, a hundred. In sports, there's a hundred types of sports. As, as, as sport is an analogy, there's non-contact sports like bowling, baseball, what else is there? You know, cricket. That's not contact sport compared to, you know, MMA or uh, football or basketball. Okay, so ales are the contact sport and lagers are the non-contact sport. So, okay, they're comparing a non-contact with a kind of a lager is a light, crisp, clean, refreshing beer. It can't have a lot of taste. You can't have a light, crisp, clean, refreshing beer and has a lot of taste. It doesn't make sense. Give me an example if you have one that has light and has a lot light, crisp, clean, and refreshing. It has a lot of taste. So they're comparing those with the ale, which most of these microbreweries brew is ales, which are have robust in your face malt and hoppy flavors. That does that doesn't make sense. You shouldn't apples with apples. So beer, that's totally different. You're, you're trying to compare like a sport like soccer, which is a light lager, with uh, football or basketball that has a high scoring game. It isn't true. People who like soccer, and that's the number one sport in the world, enjoy it. And people like basketball can't push the basketball on them. It just becomes dumb. So the selling point is a myth or misleading people to say. My beer is better. And the second is late is uh, is bad ingredients. They don't have natural ingredients. They're bad. They're bad people. Their ingredients is you know is not good. Okay, any beer that you get in America does it have ingredients label? No. So you wouldn't know what rice they're putting in here. You don't know what uh, hops they're putting in there. They don't need to disclose that. Even microbrews don't need to disclose it. Who knows what they're putting in their beers? So a lot of a lot of it is a myth. Just, just to, to sell, to sell a myth, a myth that these beers, micro beers, are better than a, a basic lager from America. And it's kind of sad that people buy into that. You know, it's kind of... And the third, and that's a bad myth, is that rice and corn are really bad for beer. It shouldn't be in beer. But the best beers, the monks, they put, they put sugar in their beer. They've been doing it for thousands of years. 100, maybe 500 years, maybe a 1,000, who knows? So to say the, that uh, an adjunct like rice, which makes it, again, you get to a, a, a crisp, clean beer, which is drinkable, highly drinkable beer, you need to have it crisp, clean, you put an adjunct in there. And sometimes barley is more than rice and corn. So when people say, oh, it's bad about this is bad because it's corn and it's in rice, they just have some... some um, uh, uh, something against big business or something. Not saying InBev is a great company. I know one thing that the the taste hasn't changed on this. It hasn't changed at all. Since when they bought it, two thousand five, hasn't changed. They said they've been making cheaper cheaper ingredients. I can. They're not cheaping it out. I would know if they're making cheaper because I drink it a lot. So that's just a dumb. The the that rice and corn adjunct argument is just a dumb argument. A lot of craft beers, like Dogfish Head, uses rice. Look at a lot of their, right, like, look at a lot of their beers. Look how much rice is in a lot of some of their beers. 
and they even admit it. So, I think you should just drink your beer, and is if you have a good, if you, you should, beer is supposed to be fun and enjoyable. That's it. A lot of these beers shouldn't be judged. Even when I'm judging something, I think it's kind of silly, but just personal preference. I like a lager to me. Personally, I like a lot of high carbonation, what this this has, Budweiser. And I like a crisp, clean, and not a lot of taste in a lager. You know, germ and then another thing, you go on Beer Advocate or all these websites, they, they say this is horrible. But look at their, look at the, the bias towards robust, flavorful beers with a lot of malt, a lot of hops, a lot of bitterness. All their beers are imperial stouts, imperial... Uh, Ales, double ales, and you know, the Trappist beers. You know, not a, there's no loggers except uh, West of Honor. 250 top beers in their site. So there's bias, a lot of bias towards that, towards a more robust flavor. But if people wanted a more robust flavor, they would buy it. Boston Lager's been around since the 80s. I mean, they're probably taking shares from Budweiser, but it doesn't matter. I think when it's all said and done, you know, if this beer loses shares and it becomes small, and guess what? This is a crap beer because it's small. <laughs> and then Boston Lager is the biggest beer company. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to cheapen their beer because that's how they make more money. Business is to make money, right? Once they get the shares from Budweiser or get more market shares, guess what they're going to do? Cheapen the beer. That's business. That's business. You know, this is small and that's good and this good. You think a small small brewery wants to keep on being small? Ask Stone president or CEOs of Stone or, or Stone of Lagunitas or Firestone. See if they want to stay strong. And then, and then, and then one thing is Budweiser bought, bought some craft beers. They bought Goose Head, Goose Island. They're still great beers. They probably don't, they're, they're probably still groove the same ingredients. So, I mean, I have a lot of bud drinkers won't even touch uh, uh a craft beer because they think it's too uh, rich and too much robust flavor and I don't try to bring them over sometimes I'll tell them you know, drink this a darker lager with more, a little more flavor and they enjoy that but people are going to be drinking what they want to drink they don't force people InBev doesn't force people I don't like their, their business practice a lot of business practices are probably shady they probably do cheap in the beer but if they do I wouldn't buy it and I think Bex was cheap and buy InBev but we'll see we'll see maybe to become a craft beer because they're small then they have to start out, but they're buying craft beer, so I don't, I don't, I hate, or I don't love Inbev, and I don't hate Inbev, but I think Budweiser is a great beer, and I think Miller High Life is a good beer. And uh, the final note is, you, again, my thesis is this: is that my theme is always is a time and place for every beer, and there's always, you know, there's always a time and place for. A, a Budweiser or Corona or a Heineken in the summer. It's more doable. And a baseball game, a lot good lager is what you want. You want a double stout there. You want a lager in, in your barbecue. You want a lager. You don't want, a, again, a, a double chocolate stout when you're, you're brewing, brewing beer. Or you're, you're not brewing beer. Or you're cooking your food brewing beer. If you're cooking your food. So this is the end. Conclusion is... Whatever you take, whatever they drink, again, malt liquor to double stouts to high life to the cheapest beer you can name. You could, you should, it should be, you should have a good time and it should be enjoyable. And that's what beers are supposed to be. You shouldn't critique. When you start critiquing a lot of things and you start us against them mentality, that's how good religions start. And that's how a lot of things start because us against them mentality, that's the call. You see a lot of stuff, religions do that a lot, governments do that a lot. Those people have that weapons of mass destruction. We need to get them, so we need to start a war. Guess what? They didn't find them. We started a nice war, though. We made a lot of money. Just think about that. When you us against mentality, be open. Be open to drink, drink other beers. If you're drinking, you know, if you're enthusiast, which I am, I'll drink anything. Which, which again, I enjoy these types of beers. I like a beer that I can drink two or three of them compared to a heavier beer. I need to be sucking down and, and puckering my lips. But I'd rather drink uh, a beer like this or light lager most of the time but I don't mind Russian stouts or double I, I, I respect that too um, drink your beers enjoy them and have a good time thanks for watching